Good Monday afternoon to all. I uh, hope everyone is doing well. Uh, we had the opportunity yesterday uh, to talk a little bit about the 15th of Av, Tu Be'av. A day we're going to be celebrating Tuesday night and Wednesday. Uh, we mentioned the fact that on that day, on the 15th of Av, after some three years that the corpses remained in the fields after the Bar Kokhva rebellion, when the city of Beitar was completely destroyed and devastated. After three years, eventually they were granted permission to bury the corpses. And uh, the Talmud notes that they had a tradition that somehow miraculously the bodies did not decompose. When they were able to rebury those or bury those bodies, they had gratitude towards the Almighty and they established the blessing of Hatov Vehametiv, that God is good and He does good. And that is the fourth blessing in the Birkat Amazon. While in Birkat Amazon we talk about the land of Israel and Jerusalem, that last blessing, right? Hakelavinu, Malkenu, Adirenu, Borenu, that last blessing is one where we express gratitude to God that even in exile, even when we are away from our land, even after the complete devastation that came about due to the Bar Kokhba rebellion, God is still with us. And their ability to go ahead and treat right, the corpses with honor and bury them, bring them to Kever Yisrael, gave them a sense that even in a time of darkness, God is still with us. Now, there was great darkness after that rebellion. You know, Israel was basically removed from the map. It was no longer called the land of Judea, but rather they came up with a new name, Syria, Palestina, right? The idea of calling Israel Palestine or the concept of Palestinians. That is only because of those devastating events. Jerusalem was renamed, Taelia Capitolina. The Romans had an agenda to, to uproot our identity and to detach our national connection to Eretz Israel. And the hope our ancestors had after the destruction that there's going to be a rebuilding very soon came to an end. Great devastation. But even at that time, we remember, we still have the ability to connect to God. And there's still good. There is good even in exile. God is tovu metiv even when we are away from the land. And the hope to go ahead and remain, right, and eventually rebuild was always with us. You know, the Talmud notes that after the 15th of Av, nights start becoming a little bit longer. And when the night is longer, that's an ideal time to study Torah. Commentators explain specifically Torah Sheba'al Peh, the oral tradition. And they explain that what really kept us alive as a nation, right, for the past 1900 years, right, we didn't have a land, right, we were hoping to return to that land, but our identity was our spiritual identity, our Torah. And therefore, from this period of time on, when there's more darkness, and darkness symbolizes that bitter and long exile, what we do is focus on our connection to our tradition, the study of Torah and darkness. And we know very well that we are here today. And Baruch Hashem, we are in the process of rebuilding today because we kept our link through that text to our tradition and to our Creator. So it is indeed a time to celebrate. The 15th of Av is a very, very happy day. The Talmud considers it one of the happiest days on the calendar. And that is because it's a time when we think about a better future that's waiting for us. We deep down know that things are going to be better one day. We don't know when exactly, but it, it is that faith that should uplift our spirits even during challenging times. So let's prepare for Tu Be'av and to get that boost from the day that is there to boost our spirits. We should merit to hear good news. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.